Hi, my name is Miguel Costa, and I'm going to talk about characterizing the search behavior in web archives. So, the web is the largest source of information in the world. It contains all kinds of information, news, interviews, opinions, feelings. Everyone is writing in the web, so it's very important to preserve this information. We can even draw a profile of our civilization by seeing what people is writing. But unfortunately, 80% of the web documents are unavailable after one year. Every day, millions of documents are created, but they are also deleted. So we are creating information to throw it away. And this creates a serious problem. Fortunately, there are web archiving initiatives that are concerned with this problem and are preserving parts of the web. Here we can see a world map where many of these uh, initiatives are located. They had already archived more than 180 billion documents since 1996. So here we have a web archiving workflow. Uh, the information is uh, acquired. And mostly the information is crawled from the web, the web and, store, and stored in the secondary memory in a way that they can be preserved for long-term access. And these are three very important processes in web archiving. But for us, it doesn't make any sense to have this information stored without having ac uh, without giving access to all this information so we are focused in the the searching process we created the search engine for a web archive and uh, we detected at least two big problems first it ignores the temporal dimension and second it doesn't understand the end users so this study in this study we try to understand how do users search so this is the first uh, characterization of this kind. In the, the previous study, we tried to understand why do users search. So the idea was to understand what motivates them, what lead, leads them to start searching, and what topics were more interesting to them. So by understanding the user's behavior, we can, we can improve the response time. So these are several applications. For instance, improving the response time by creating cache mechanisms or creating special indexes of the information more searched or to trying to see where the users click most and what the results that are most interesting for the users and try to improve that results or see how the users were refining queries and trying to suggest when the users were searching or even to improve web design by seeing what are the functionalities that the users use most and give, give uh, these functionalities a more prominent uh, place in the interface. <coughs> the, uh, the, this study was, uh, was made over the web Portuguese Web Archive. At the time of the study, the Portuguese Web Archive had uh, 182 million documents searchable by full text and URL, and the documents uh, have a, a range between 1990, uh, 1996 and 2009. And the prototype was available since 2010 at uh, this URL, archive.pt. So we start with um, available technology, uh, mostly based on Nutrex. And this is the interface of the, the Portuguese Web Archive. It's very similar to a search engine. They, the idea was to give the users something that they are used to work. So to make, make uh, their interaction easier with the system. So here we provide uh, a text box where, where the user can submit a, qu a query. And the user receives 10 results. Uh, like uh, in any search engine. The, the main difference are in these two uh, red uh, circles, uh, ellipse, where the user can narrow the search by a date range or even or in, in each result it can click to see the uh, all versions of, uh, of a URL. This is uh, the second interface where the user can see all the versions of the URL. The user can also submit the URL in the same text box and the, u and the system interprets the, the query according to if it's a URL or a, a textual query. So here, 
you have two types of, um, of searches, URL and full text. This is the methodology of our study. We decided to an analyze the search logs. Search logs, why? Because they have several pros and cons. As pros, the, they provide a large and variety set of interactions. We can see every kind of interaction uh, of the users by analyzing the logs. They are also less biased because we can analyze uh, a large quantity of information and statistically, uh, re statistically remove some of the bias. It's cheaper because we don't need to, to buy any expensive equipment or special equipment and recruit uh, persons to, to do this type of study. It's not intrusive. The users are searching without having any notion that they are being, uh, their interactions are being monitored. And, uh, as cons, we don't have any con context about the users. We don't know their demographics, if they are satisfied with the results, and we don't. Basically, we don't have don't have any lack. We don't have any control about the users. So these are the pros and the cons. This is the data set that we use in our study. We studied around 10,000 sessions. Basically, we started by uh, clean, cleansing all, the, all the, uh, the data from the logs. We normalized the queries and the sessions, and then we excluded all empty and invalid uh, sessions in queries. Uh, for instance, queries submitted by our monitoring system or from uh, web bots, from search engines. So the idea is to have only valid information submitted by users. And then we delimit the session. So the session represents the uh, information need that the user is trying to satisfy. For instance, imagine that I'm trying to see who won the World Cup in uh, 1996. So I, I, all that information, the queries and the clicks, represent my session. So we, we delimit the session by uh, IP, the user session, and the uh, 30 minute gap. So the big question is, how do you use a search? Uh, the first thing that we discovered was that users uh, tend to submit two types of, of sessions. They submit full text sessions, only composed by full text queries, or they tend to submit only URL sessions. So they almost do not mix, did not mix uh, any of these two types of queries. The second thing that we discovered was that the users uh, sum, submit by double uh, to full text sessions compared to URL, ses URL sessions, but both were very uh, were frequently used by the users. So it's important for a web archive to support all uh, these two types of, of uh, sessions. The third thing that we discovered was that uh, users tend to submit very short sessions. So they tend to submit one or two queries composed by uh, each query composed by one or two, two or three terms. And they tend to see just one or two results pages and then they tend to click in one query. So the idea is to submit the less information as possible and, and click in one result to see it. Uh, the URL session in the URL session, the users submit even less uh, information. They submit uh, one or two queries where each query uh, was composed by one click or two. So this is some idea of the, the few information that the users uh, submitted. Here is a graph that you can see that the users submitted mostly one query per session, around 66%. And uh, up to and 85 percent of the queries had of the session, sorry, had up to three queries. Uh, this is other type of analysis. The idea was to see how the users refine the queries. So imagine that uh, we wanted to to do a suggestion to the user. We wanted to see how the user was refining the queries. And what we discovered here was that. 42% uh, of the queries had uh, terms added, while uh, the terms were removed in 25% of the queries. So the idea is that the users tend to go from uh, broad to, to narrow search. 
this is other analysis that we did. So the idea is to see if there is a lot of repetition in queries, terms, clicks, and uh, archive page scenes. And what we discovered was that the, all this follower power, power law distribution. What does this mean? So the idea is that uh, there are very popular, for instance, queries that are repeated many times. So a few sets is repeated many times. And then we have a large set that is repeated just a few, a few times. Here we can see uh, some of the results, 27% of the top queries can represent 50% of the, of the query volume. 6% of the top terms represent the same 50% of the query volume. So this means that we just, by catching just 6% of the top terms, we could have 50% of the query volume. So this could represent a great saving for the system. So summarizing, the, the big idea from these results that we can take is that the users spend little time and effort on individual searches. They tend to submit very few information. They tend to search and explore following power law distributions. So they, this is very important because we have a large scale system with a, receiving a lot of queries. So the idea is to, to improve the, the throughputs of the system and by by seeing these power law distributions, you can create cache mechanisms to do so. And the major conclusion is that the users search in web, web archives as they search in web search engines. But now, what about time? So, we also discovered some interesting things about uh, time. So, the first thing was, was that the users only submit one third of the queries restricted by date. So all information needs of the users are focused on the, on the past. They try to see old information, old pages, but they don't restrict many, many queries by, by date. Other thing that we discovered that is interesting is that the users tend, only tend to, to change the end date. So this gives an indication that the users are most interested are most interesting in seeing the old pages. Here we have other information that uh, the idea here is to see what were the years included in the queries. And as we can see here, the URL queries were almost uh, flat, so there aren't any pattern. But in the full text queries, the users prefer the oldest years. So if you see in the 1996, you can see that around 77% uh, of the queries included this year, and then there was a significant, significant drop uh, throughout all uh, the other years. This also gives us some more information. So the idea here was to see where the users click it. The, the first bar represents the first column reads the results, the second bar, the, the second column, and so on. So what we can see in this graph was that the users uh, click it much more in the first column than that in the others. So once again, these results show that the users tend to click most on the oldest years. So concluding. Uh, Web Archive uses search as in web search engines, uh, as I said already. This can be due to the search functionalities and the search interface that we serve to the users that are very similar to search engine technology. So perhaps the problem is not, um, perhaps we should try to to research and create a different interface for the user to try to fulfill their information needs in a different way. So they prefer full text over URL search. Uh, this is important for for a perspective of someone who wants to create a web archive to decide which type of uh, search functionality is more important. But what we discovered is that URL search is also very frequently used. So 
both should be supported. And the users prefer the oldest documents over the newest. So we had several indications around this, uh, these results. Uh, and th this is very important, f for instance, to, to present results, to rank results, which documents should be presented first to the users, the oldest or the newest. Now we have some indication what the users prefer.